Well, I'd like you to uh, stay with this two cushion system with me for just a second. This is the numbering system with different variants because this is going to be used so much. I want you to know all the different possibilities of how you can use this. Uh, we're going to go back to the original one, which is the zero point at the 10 ball. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to go over to five. One, two, three, four, five in the half uh, segment increments. Connect that point and shoot down that line. Now, each of these I'm going to shoot is going to be on the line. I'm going to do this and again to five, five. Smooth stroke, high right English, just like that, around the table that goes down here to the corner pocket, just like that, and goes in. The next one is we're going to come back to four, four. So this would be from zero, one, two, three, four. We're going to go over to four on the short rail. The corner pocket again is one, two, three, four. Connect the two points, four to four. Q ball will put right on that line. Smooth stroke. If it's not on the line, you can do a little bit of a parallel shift. Smooth stroke at four, four, just like this. Ball comes down like this and comes right down here again to the corner pocket like that, okay? The next one, we're going to put at three, three. We did three, three actually before when the, the, this ball was up a ways. Now we're going to do it's in the corner. So zero, one, two, three. Go to three. It'll be right on that line. And as we get lower on numbers, five, five is the standard one tip with the 12 and a half, 12 and three quarter tip, millimeter tip. As you get four, four, three, three, you increase your English just a little bit. So we're on three, three, hitting the ball like this with a nice smooth stroke, just like this, ball comes down, goes here to the corner pocket like that, hitting it again. We take it again, we go to two, two. So this is up zero, one, two. We go over to two, shoot right down that line with just a little bit more English like that, hit it just like this, ball comes down, and it goes down here to the corner pocket like that. So basically I went from the 5-5 five five back to 2-2. Two two. Now we'll go the other direction and we'll go from 5-5 five five up to 6-6. Six six. So again, let's count that. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We go over to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Connect 6 with 6. Now when you go on the higher side of the 5-5, five five, you take a little bit of the English off. Because again, this all has to do with compression of the first rail. The, 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 low, the higher number you get up this way, the rail compresses less. And the more this way, the rail compresses more. So you have to adjust with a little bit more or less English. In this case, we're lining up right on 6-6 six, six with a smooth stroke. Just like this, hitting the ball. Ball goes like this, comes down, and goes over here like that to the pocket. All right, and then the final one is 7-7. Seven, 7-7 seven. Seven, seven is all the way up here. So we go from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We go over to seven. Now, one thing you have to keep on when you're at seven, seven, you're in kind of a slide zone here with the cue ball. So you don't get the natural roll at the beginning. So you gotta go a little bit higher and still keep just about a half a tip of English on the cue ball. So it's a smooth stroke just like this, hitting the ball, ball comes down, and it goes down toward the corner pocket just like that. So what I've done here is I've gone through the gamut of all the numbers from two, two up to seven, seven. And you can go in between those with parallel shifts. So this is a really, really valuable system you're going to use in your game when you get these situations where your opponent plays you safe. And you're going to start hitting the ball every time. You're going to start making the ball on occasion. Your percentage make rate is going to keep going up and up. You're going to have more confidence in your game. And you're going to be able to play just about any person at any level and show them that you can play the game no matter how they leave you. So this is an awesome concept. I want you to learn this system because it's the most valuable one that you're going to use in your pool game using the diamond system steady. So I hope you've enjoyed this CSI instructional tip.